Hello, fourth grade. Um, your assignment for math is pretty easy today. Um, it's a worksheet that looks a lot like the worksheets that you have had the last two days working with acute, uh, ab acute, obtuse angles, and then having to tell if it's inner or outer. So your worksheet does look like that, but that's not what I want you to do on it. On this worksheet, what I would like you to do is actually tell me the degrees of the angles that are shown. So I'm just going to do a refresher on how to tell the degrees of an angle using a protractor. Again, I know you don't have a protractor at home. You don't need to have one for necessarily doing this assignment. The paper is exactly what you need to look at, okay? So if I have an angle that looks like this, Okay, I don't have a protractor on the back of this angle, so I am going to measure this using a protractor. So if this is my angle, okay, I'm going to line up my protractor so that that vertex goes in that circle. So you can see that I've lined it pretty much up perfectly. And that bottom line right here, this is called the baseline, that's going to line up with, with the top of this. So we're lining it up right here. Okay, so this is where my protractor is going to stay. i got to put my marker down here. Okay, so if this is where my protractor is, then I have 0 and 180 here. 0 is on the inside, 180 is on the outside. So I'm going to use my inner angle starting at 0 to measure this. So it goes 0, 10, 20, 30, and 40. So 30 is about right here and 40 is about right here. So it looks like this angle is going to be between, halfway between 30 and 40. And obviously you guys know that if 30 is here and 40 is here, halfway in between is going to be 35. So this angle is going to be 35 degrees. Your computer is not going to be able to make a degree sign, so just use like the little asterisk star that I did in the example. Okay? One more to show you how to do it, and then you're going to be off on your own. If this angle looks like this, okay, so I have another angle. I'm going to line up my protractor so that my, ver my vertex goes in here and the baseline lines up with the protractor, okay, so like so, and then you can see I have 0 and 180. I'm always starting at the 0. So this one, if the 0 is in the outside, I'm going to use the outer angle. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 is right here. 100, 110, 120 is right here. 130 is pretty much right on the money. And then 140. So if this is 120 degrees, this is 140 degrees. We said that when we were looking at it, it pretty much lines up perfectly with 130. It's going to be 130 degrees. It is super important that you use the correct scale of inner and outer, though, because this 130 also says 50. I don't know if you can see that. Okay? And... I know by looking at this angle that this is not a 50 degrees angle because a 50 degrees angle is acute and this angle is obtuse. So that's why we needed to learn what scale to use, inner and outer, because you need to know how to read the protractor. If the protractor says 130 and, um, and 80, you need to know that the obtuse angle is going to be the 130 and the acute angle is going to be 80. And technically, that's what it is because... If we have this angle, this is the angle that we just measured. We just said that this part right here is 130 degrees. Okay, that's basically telling us that from here to this angle right here is the rest of it, which is 50 degrees. Because we know a straight line is 180. 130 plus 50 is 180, okay? 
So that's why it's telling us that if this is 130, then the rest of it is 50. That's why it matters which scale you use because look at this. Okay, this line is measured right up to 130 and 50. The 50 degrees is the acute angle. The 130 is the obtuse angle. The acute angle baseline is over here. So that's why it starts zero, goes to 50. The obtuse line over here starts at zero and goes all the way to 130. Okay, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please reach out to me or Mrs. Phillips. And uh, good luck.